Beth Tweddle is one of the greatest British gymnasts of all time, winning European, Commonwealth, World and Olympic medals. I first started gymnastics when I was seven years old. Now, I tried lots of other sports first. So I did ballet, I did horse riding, I did swimming, I did hockey. But gymnastics was the one that I enjoyed the most. I started off, obviously, I was a bit shy. I didn't necessarily want to go along by myself. So I actually went along with two girls from the village. And that put my mind at rest and gave me someone to walk into the gym with on that first attempt. So I would always recommend to you guys, if you're trying something new, don't worry about it. Take a friend along, or if your mums and dads can go with you, then obviously they can go along as well. And always have a go at it, because for me, I was really nervous. I was really shy about having a go, but actually by doing it, I realised it was the one thing that I absolutely loved. Beth competed on four different apparatus. So in competition, uh, beam was the most nerve wracking, bars was my most successful, but floor for me was always the most enjoyable. Beth attended three Olympic games. Now a lot of people say to me, when did you dream about going to an Olympic games? And the honest answer was, not until I was a lot older. I actually did my first competition when I was eight years old. Um, it was just a small competition. Um, but I suddenly found that I loved it. I was always very shy in school, didn't like to be the centre of attention. But actually, as soon as I was in that gym and on that competition floor, I suddenly came out of my shell. I realised that I could be this confident person. Um, so gymnastics taught me a lot. And one of the things it did teach me was how to be confident. Now, I was lucky enough to go to three Olympic Games. So I got to go to Athens in 2004 when I was 19, and that was my first Olympics. And it was just a dream come true to be able to represent your country and just put on that Team GB tracksuit was the best feeling in the world. After that Games, I came home determined to win an Olympic medal. So I went to the Beijing Olympics in 2008 and my one dream was to pick up an Olympic medal. Unfortunately, it didn't quite happen. I finished in fourth place, which was obviously an amazing achievement, but I was slightly disappointed because for me, what I wanted to achieve was that Olympic medal. So I'm sure you guys have all had times where you've maybe not got full marks in your homework or you've worked really, really hard on something and maybe didn't get the result that you wanted. And what I want to say to you guys is, is don't worry about it. Sometimes things don't go that way um, and it's how you react to that. So do you go and sit in the corner and worry about it and stress about it? Or do you pick yourselves back up and say, do you know what? I'm going to work really, really hard and go back next time and do really, really well. In 2012, Beth won a bronze medal at the 2012 London Olympics. Do you know what, kids, I cannot put it into words how amazing it felt to compete in the O2 Arena and win that Olympic medal. And just for you guys today, I've actually brought that Olympic medal. So as you can see there, it's got the London 2012 logo on it. And then it all has a design on the back as well. And just for you guys, I don't know whether you can see this, but I actually dented it. We have an Olympic parade. Um, just after the game, so you get to go around um, London on open top buses and yeah, I dropped it outside Buckingham Palace, so at least I know it's my Olympic medal and it's got its own little, little story behind it. Beth now works with young people, supporting them to get into sport. I'd really encourage you um, to try lots of things. Obviously, you might be at home, you might be in school, depending at the minute. Um, have a go at something new. Um, get mums, dads, grandparents, whoever you're living with during lockdown to maybe try something new with you. And who knows, you might find that you really enjoy it. The one thing I learned throughout my career, and my coach was always instilling this into me, actually, if you make mistakes, don't worry, get back up, have another go. And mistakes are your friends, because actually you learn a lot from making a mistake. If you always perfect to everything, then no one would have anything to teach to you. So don't worry if you make a mistake, get back up and have another go. Um, but 
I have had some questions um, come through and that's really exciting for me. I always like hearing from you guys and what your questions are. How long did you train to be an Olympic gymnast? And thank you for sending that question in. Um, do you know what? The training, as I said earlier, was is always the hardest part. I loved performing. Um, when I was leading up to something like the Olympic Games or the World Championships, I had to train for roughly 30 plus hours a week. Um, so that was over six days. So I used to get a Sunday off unless I was competing. And so that was always the best day of the week, just letting my body um, relax and going and catching up with family and friends. Um, and you were doing maybe four to six hours of training a day. So we um, later in my career, I'd probably do three hours in the morning. I would then go and have lunch, maybe Maybe have physio and um, have a bit of relax rest and then I'd go back in and do another three hours session. Hi Beth, did you still get nervous when you were a professional? It is really nerve-wracking um, competing um, but also for you guys if you're doing maybe tests at school or you're doing your spelling tests or whatever it is um, I bet you've all had those butterflies in your tummy and maybe felt a bit sick beforehand but the one thing that my coach always taught me was nerves was a good thing it meant that you really cared about what you were doing so um, don't panic if you guys get nervous before a, a sports competition or something that you do at school because it's natural. Hi Beth, what will be a best animal on a balance fee? What animal would be best on a balance fee? Do you know what? I'm going to go a bit random here, a slug because they'd be able to stick to it. <laughs>